yeah, there was, and uh, Alireza in that game played d takes c4, bishop d2, c5, which is, uh, I mean, everything in the Catalan these days is heavily theoretical. Catalan has become a very, very mainline thing that a lot of very top players are doing, so there's, exactly. plenty, there's plenty of theory uh, to go around. But uh, this does have, uh, I don't know, I want to say it does have the advantage, but I don't know if, it, if it's an advantage necessarily, of getting a lot of pieces off the board quite quickly, and uh, the resulting endgames might look exceedingly dry, right? but they, they're not always as empty for white as uh, that particular game between these two players as may, have, may have made it look. As we get uh, into uh, the start of round two, anything in particular caught your eye, Alejandro? I'll be taking a look at this. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Sound right, boy. I think after that, considering the time situation, I, I kept my nerves well and uh, I didn't let uh, intimidate me. Another victory there for the white pieces as Yane Pomiachi does put the finishing touches on Alireza Ferruja and comes back to the tournament.